by far the video that you guys request the most is on Nano. So Nano, previously known as Rayblox, is a cryptocurrency that is designed solely to be a peer-to-peer -peer payment system. Their slogan is, do one thing and do it right. Its primary traits are its near-instant transactions. There are never any transaction fees. There is no inflation, since all the coins to ever exist are already distributed. Therefore, there are no miners or no staking to receive block rewards, fees, saving electricity. The distribution of the coin was not done with an ICO, airdrop, or by proof of work. Rayblocks were distributed with faucets. A faucet is a website where you simply fill out a CAPTCHA to prove that you aren't a bot, and in return, a small amount of cryptocurrency is sent to your wallet for free. Anyone who was aware at the time could have done this and received free Rayblocks. Some faucets gave out hundreds of Rayblocks per CAPTCHA, worth thousands of dollars today. Roughly 130 million Ray blocks were distributed to the community in this manner, and 7 million were kept for the development fund. The remaining 200 million coins were burned and destroyed forever. Instead of a single universal blockchain, Nano uses a block lattice structure. Every wallet has their own personal blockchain. Your blockchain contains your entire transaction history, with each block containing only one single transaction. Every time a transaction is made, two new blocks are created, one on the sender's blockchain and one on the recipient's blockchain. Being peer-to-peer, -peer, there is no need for transaction fees since the only parties involved are the ones taking part in the transaction, and you also don't have to wait for anyone to place your transaction in a block. Although transactions appear instant, this isn't exactly the case. When a block is created, a small amount of proof-of-work must be done, a small cryptographic puzzle. This only takes about 30 seconds, but can be pre-calculated so when the transaction is initiated, it immediately goes through. The proof of work doesn't strain your computer and isn't very noticeable. It is primarily to prevent a malicious party from spamming the network, as computing power would add up, requiring a mining farm, making you lose out in opportunity costs without much gain. For network consensus, Nano uses a delegated proof-of-stake model. Like traditional proof-of-stake, your vote in the system is equal to the amount of coins you hold. One token equals one vote. But unlike traditional proof-of-stake, you can optionally pass your voting power to another wallet without giving up your private keys. You can delegate your voting power to an official representative, a friend, or maybe another wallet that you control, which is a useful feature as you can put your coins in cold storage with your voting power still being represented. So we ran out of paper there at the very end, but I got pretty close to saying everything I wanted to say about it. It was going to be a short video anyways, because I like to spend a lot of the time in my videos talking about uh, any possibility of fraud, any fishy activity, any scandals, but Nano seems pretty clean. I couldn't really find that much. I'll definitely be keeping my eye on this project. I think it's pretty interesting, especially when compared with Bitcoin, uh, because Bitcoin is made to have a hierarchical structure and for incentives and greed to keep everybody in check. Whereas in Nano, there is no hierarchical structure. Everybody's pretty much the same, or at least it's more democratic. There's uh, no incentives, no fees to keep everybody in check. Uh, so I, only time will tell really whether that works or not, because we know that proof of work does work. It's been around for 10 years. While this might seem better, uh, remember that Nano just finished its distribution a couple months ago at the end of 2017. So I think it's a great system, great possibilities, but it's brand new. Let me know what you guys think about Nano. Uh, did I miss anything? Is there something that I got wrong? If there's any corrections, I'll pin it at the top of the comments and make sure I let everybody know. Um, if y'all want any coins looked into by me, if you want me to make a specific video, just leave a comment as well. I do read them all. I'm gonna try to make more videos. I was on, I was in Mexico. I was in Mexico at the Anarchapoco event and uh, I will be making a video on that soon as, as soon as I gather all the right stuff. Um, 
As you'll notice in the background, I've got some towels and a weird wall. I'm actually in my garage uh, for recording. I actually built a small structure inside of the garage. So hopefully by next time, uh, all the walls will be finished. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.